Good morning from Malaysia, and uh, this will do me. I'm a year of the rabbit. This is the Bukit Tinggi shopping centre. A modest, busy little township. Coffee break with kopi and mocha. Interesting motivational messages. You often see them, sometimes signed by old people, people in their 80s, full of aphorisms on how you might live your life better. It's uh, a very interesting, positive and forward-looking culture. Good to have kopi, which is the... Uh, kopi is the uh, traditional Chinese way of drinking coffee. Curiously made with uh, um, thick milk at the bottom, which slowly diffuses upwards, sometimes aided by the judicious use of a teaspoon. And um, the other, of course, mocha is the original coffee from mocha in Ethiopia, uh, a word sometimes now uh, hijacked by those idiots who put chocolate into the drink. But it's so historic and fascinating to drink it. By the way, do you notice nothing here casts a shadow? That's because the sun is directly overhead. And you can't navigate by the sun when nothing casts a shadow. Yes, this is the little town of Klang. Klang. K-L-A-N-G. Klang. These oil palms, they're growing them here as a decorative feature. But they're the biggest curse and destroyer of rainforests anywhere in the world. The dog is guarding the temple. This area is called Bandar Botanik, um, the botanic quarter, but um, they've got a lot of interesting plants growing around in, in various roads, avenues of them. But seeing those uh, oil palms really does get one's goat. There are areas that I came to in Malaysia years ago, and now if you go back there, you see nothing from the highway to the horizon but oil palms. And all of the rainforest, the indigenous species, wiped out in the short-term interests of getting some quick profit. They're as bad as the sheep in the Rhonda Valley Malaysian language is fascinating. Bits of English, all sorts of languages brought in, and a lot of Arabic too. It's an Islamic country. And the greeting, Salam Atatang, sounds quite like Salam Alaikum in Arabic, doesn't it? So, discount. And what's wrong with that as a translation? Discount. It's what we all say. Have you ever heard anybody say discount? Even when I'm really trying to talk nicely for a special program, I don't think I've ever put the T on discount. Oh, like the Malaysian shirt. With some of the translations, you do have to look quite carefully. Sometimes they'll copy the graphic design and even the typeface of somewhere else. 
Big Apple on Starbucks. What a fabulous idea. This has worked really well. The last time I was in Malaysia, I traveled up on the surface as far as Malacca and spent a few days in Kuala Lumpur and didn't quite come down as far as this. So this is a kind of little brie-shaped wedge in between the two, which is well worth filling in. But over there, I seem, I seem to see a tropical storm brewing which will give us a couple of hours of downpour, possibly some dramatic thunder. So I think it might be a good idea shortly to go home. Well, it had looked as though the weather was going to be excessively grotty, but in the end, it didn't happen. And I could sit on the outer deck, thoroughly enjoy myself. A round of smoked salmon and egg with a soup sort of capers and a little hint of horseradish on Polish rye bread, followed by two bananas. And that, I reckon, is all the metabolic intake anybody sensible should need. Farewell, Bord Klang.